I'll, I'll talk about first solar, perhaps, which I, I believe is the highest value for number one. Yeah. So, um, so they're a thin film company, and they have much higher capex costs, uh, but they gain lower variable costs. So because they're growing at such a rate, um, you're not seeing the full earnings potential within their earnings statement. So uh, what I tell investors is you really have to look at more of a normalized earnings power for first solar and then you'll get a much more uh, reasonable valuation. And in terms of some of the other companies. Yeah, and, uh, another reason why uh, that there is probably a huge uh, valuation discrepancy between uh, several publicly traded solar stock is, uh, we, we've touched on it a little bit, but management communication and uh, th th there are some companies that clearly do a fantastic job of laying out their strategy and executing on it. And there are some companies that tends to sort of go a bit back and forth in terms of uh, you know quarter to quarter numbers, and those have certainly seemed to play a very big role in terms of the forward earnings multiple and where they are trading at a given point in time. And uh, Jesse, you're absolutely right. And in some cases, like for example, you use first solar. I'll take Sun Power as another company that has a pretty high multiple at this point in time. But if you really fast forward and see what the earnings potential could be all of a sudden the multiple doesn't look that big. Like for example in 09, they're trading at give or take what you know, depending on whose number you believe, twenty-five times earnings when this industry does have a potential of growing thirty to forty percent.